Hey you guys, I have you on a selfie stick. I thought we'd try something different for today's video. If you have never seen, that is my setup. That's where I sit to talk to you guys and do my videos. And, but that's not what today's video is about. Today's video is about my latest Amazon haul. And one of the things I'm featuring in today's haul is my new cover for my comforter, or let's call it a duvet set. Um, if you've been watching any of my videos for a while, you have seen my bed and I always have a white bedspread. I still do, but it needed freshening up. So I got a new one and I got it on Amazon and I love it. All right. So I am going to show that to you and I will be right back. All right, guys. So here is the part of my bedroom that you're used to seeing in all of my videos. And I did order some rose colored, just like that middle of that pillow, velvet pillows. Unfortunately, they did not come in in time, but check out the bedspread. I absolutely love it. It's kind of got that boho sort of tribal um, textured right into it, but it, it's still white. So it's like a freshened up and I'm, you know, I'm very simple, very neutral, and I'm really, really happy with the way this all turned out. So yes, that is a Walmart candle <laughs> burning over there. My entire room smells like juicy watermelon. So I just wanted to show you my bed and show you my bedspread that's brand spanking new. I bought a new insert um, for it. It's a like faux down comforter that goes inside of the comforter cover. Um, that I got at Marshall's. I just felt better if I could hand pick it out and see it. So wanted to show you that. And since we're on the subject here, I wanna show you, ignore that towel. You'll know why I have that there later. This chair was also from Amazon and I absolutely love it. You can use it for a desk, which that's what my vanity really is. And it's super comfy and it was super, super reasonable. So if you like that, it will be linked below and you can get one for yourself but that's all I had to show you from my bedroom, or as I tell my husband, that's also my set. <laughs> and let's get into the rest of the stuff. All right, you guys, flip the camera around. I am taking advantage of this sunny day to show you what I'm wearing. So this is a jumpsuit. It's smocked at the top, and then it gathers and it has a drawstring in the middle. It is not full length. It goes just past the knees. It has pockets. And then you tie it on the side by the calves. And I absolutely love it. It was from Amazon. It was under $30. I think it was $25. It will be linked below. And it's so easy breezy. I am gonna love pulling this on in the summertime. I cannot wait. I'll grab a denim jacket. If it gets chilly, I'll throw that over the top. But wanted to show you that. Um, what else can I show you? Oh, and check out these bracelets. This is my ring from Forever 21. Um, I hauled that in last week's video. But these bracelets, okay, so I, you know, follow a lot of fashion interested people, um, fashion focused people on Instagram. And I kept seeing these very simple, very pretty bracelets. And it was by a company called Bobble Bar, I believe. Well, I looked them up and I'm like, oh, no, you know me, <laughs> was not in my affordable bracket. So I went on Amazon and I found what I think is a Bobble Bar dupe. Look at the details on that. They actually look like they're gold and they're very simple, very in style. And I just love them. You don't even know you're wearing them. They're nice and light, just like 14 karat gold would be. Okay, and then these earrings are also from my Forever 21 haul from last week, which should be linked somewhere in this video. But this necklace, you may have seen before as well, is from Amazon. So I will list that below. So the necklace, the jumpsuit, all Amazon. I've got my nude wedges on that I wear with everything when I show you anything from any of my hauls in the summertime. All right, so next I want to show you a product that I have not used on my own. So we will be experimenting together 
and I think I'm gonna rearrange the camera so that you can see what I'm gonna do and so that I don't get stains on anything in here. I know, it's getting pretty crazy. I might even take you into my bathroom today. I mean, I know some of you are dying to see my house. Um, and I know what that's like when I watch other YouTubers. I'm like, oh, is that a corner? Is that a little closet? You just wanna see everything, but let me see what setup works and we'll come right back. All right, you guys, we are in my bathroom right now. You guys are on the back of my toilet. We could not get any more intimate than this setting, believe me. And I want to show you something that I purchased from Amazon, and it's the first time I'm using it, so you're going to be experiencing it at the same time. So long story short, a few weeks ago, I fell. I know, and I, I pride myself that I never fall while I'm human, and I slipped on ice and I fell. I came crashing down on my knee, and let's look at my knee. You can see that I still have some bruising. So I just happened to be trying out, let me pull you up so I don't have to break my neck here, this cream called Vita Liberata Body Blur. So it's supposed to be kind of like a BB cream for your body, specifically your legs. So I'm gonna grab that. I also happen to have, and both of these items are available on Amazon, the Sally Hansen leg cover. And I have used that in the past. Um, I was actually on a TV show one time representing the organization I work for, and I had a dress on and I didn't have any stockings on. So I used this leg makeup on my legs and I absolutely loved it. So that's by Sally Hansen. And if I could find a picture of me on the talk show, I'm gonna insert it here for you. Not sure if I can, so I can't promise anything, but it really did make my legs look impeccable. They looked flawless on TV. So I'm gonna grab both. We're gonna do a test on the Sally Hansen and the Vita Liberata body blur. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, you're still in the toilet, but here are the two products. So this is the Sally Hansen, it's called Airbrush Legs. Smooth on, perfect legs in an instant, and they made it. I'm not kidding you. Uh, my legs looked so good, I was so thrilled. Um, but I keep on hearing about this guy, a Vita Liberata Body Blur. You can get it at Ulta. I wanted to get it on Amazon, it's just easier for me. I go on Ulta and I get over, you know me, affordable stuff. I don't wanna get caught up in all those aisles and aisles of not affordable makeup. So I just Amazoned it and it came in two days. All right, so let's see. Let's pull you down. Aim you at my lovely knee, isn't it beautiful? So maybe what we'll do is I'll go right down half of it. I have not opened it yet. This is the body blur and I purchased it in the color latte, which is kind of, well, they're all latte. This is the medium latte. So some first time even squirting it out. Now this is marketed as more of a bronzing type blur. So there you go. You can see that it's dark. And I would imagine, okay, I'm rubbing it in. I hope you guys have a really good view of that. Look at my lovely bros there. But I'm rubbing it in and I can tell you right now, it's pretty. It's making my leg look really tan, but it's not covering the bruise. Now, I am really asking for this stuff to do a lot if I'm telling it to cover that ugly bruise, but let's just do it only on the side of my leg. And so this is the, whoops, this is the side of my leg and I'm gonna rub this in. You can see though, now forget about the bruise for a second. It is making my leg look smooth and supple and kind of like it has a suntan. So I'm not complaining about that by any stretch. But we do know that it is gonna give you more just of a blur than a leg cover. So look at that. That looks really good. I would take that for like a bronzing effect. And if you want your legs just to look really good, probably would do well on TV as well. Now, this thing here, Let's go in. Let me actually wash my hands and I'll be right back. All right guys, I washed my hands and now I'm coming in with the Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs in the color light because right now my skin is light. Normally it is a medium if I start to self tan and start walking outside. So here's my lovely bros and I'm gonna go in, oh yeah. Look at that. 
Bad brews, which I don't know if you've ever tried to cover a brews, they're next to impossible to cover. And that is doing a darn good job. Now, if I look over to the Vita Liberata side, it kind of matches, even though this is light and that was medium. So, let's do this again. Yeah, this Sally Hansen, oh my goodness, you could see right now how flawless it makes my leg look, even with that bruise poking through. So you're not gonna cover a bruise, but you can definitely enhance the look of your leg, really with both products. So just standing back, look, don't wanna fall tripping over my own shoes here. I have to say, and it's hard I know for you all to see, um, the Vita Liberata is a thin, pretty sheen on my leg, and the Sally Hansen is a true makeup look. So there you go, there's a comparison. There's my lovely knee. It's so awful, and this is after two weeks, so it's actually looking good to me. All right, you guys, I'm back at my vanity, and now you know what it looks like. Uh, and still deciding about these. So I have kind of an opinion that I've formed just based on that test. And I'm going to insert uh, pictures. I took some better pictures in the window. So you can see one picture, hold on. With, that's much better. With this side, the side of my leg that was showing the Sally Hansen airbrush leg. And then the other side that showed the Vita Liberata body blur. And you can decide. So what my conclusion is, is that this one, the Sally Hansen airbrush, is much better to cover things if you have really maybe blue veins or some discoloration. Bruises are tough. I'm not even gonna count the bruises. Um, you know, some moles or whatever that you wanna just kind of airbrush, as it says. Get this one. And again, I have used it before. The Vita Liberata, to me is more of a BB cream, like I described it, with a tiny bit of a bronzer in it. So that would be my description of this. Uh, what would I use it for? Let's see, my husband and I go to Miami once a year and I have all kinds of cool dresses and heels and shoes and we go out to dinner and we have a blast. So I usually get a spray tan before we leave, but I always notice, because I'm in the pool on the beach, that by like the third or fourth night that we're there, it starts to fade. So this would be perfect for going out at night and just making my legs look uniform and bronzed and silky. So that would be what this is for. But keep in mind, this one here, I don't know the price off the top of my head, was not cheap. It may have been $39, something like that, where this one is like 12. I could be totally wrong, but that is in the range of how different the pricing is. So if you're looking for something like this or always wanted to try something like this, start out with the Sally Hansen, you'll be fine. They do have um, some colors that are deeper if you are a little tan from self tanning or if you still go out in the sun, who does that? Um, but anyway, so that's my review of the Vita Liberata versus the Sally Hansen. And I have one more outfit to show you. Are you guys loving my, well, first of all, Amazon in Amazon? Hey just love my new bedspread. I don't get new things like that very often. I know some people have, when they change their sheets, they'll change their comforter. They have a few they mix and match with. Not me. I have the same one and I've had that one, I want to say for like six years. And when I decide to get something new like that, it takes me a while because I'd get so upset if I didn't like it and had to look at it all the time, especially now with that being the background of my videos. All right, one more really cool outfit that I want to show you and then we're going to wrap it up. Hi guys, check this outfit out. These pants are from Amazon. I think they are so adorable. I'm not sure if you have picked up on it yet, but this spring and summer 2021, these sailor looking denim um, pants, shorts are very, very in style. If you remember from my Walmart shop with me video, I got those cute little no boundary shorts that had kind of the cool button detailing in the front. And these are from obviously from Amazon. I absolutely love them. They were under $30. They'll be linked below. They're wide leg, they're nice and long. I paired them with my Forever 21 sandals and my Forever 21 tank top that was like $2 in nude. 
I just love this look. And I gotta show you something else. Where did I put it? Oh, it's over here. Gotta show you something else. I got this awesome, what they call like a cloud purse. Super on trend right now. It has the acrylic chain link in gold. And it's super, super on trend. Now it's empty right now. If it was filled, it would be super cute. You can wear it as a clutch. And as what they call a baguette, if you remember in the early 2000s, those long, thin, rectangular purses with the short strap were in style. I had a million of them. My husband and I used to go to Chinatown. This was long before Amazon was selling this stuff. And we'd go on Canal Street and get the cute um, pretend, we'll call it, Louis Vuittons and Fendi bags. Well, they're all back in style now. I might have one or two left. I'll have to dig them up. But anyway, this has that similar style to it. I just love it. I think it looks really good with this outfit. Now, this is a perfect example of affordable fashion that to me is right on trend. I'm doing my little thumbnail poses. Just ignore me. <laughs> It is right on trend. I don't look like I have cheap clothing on because I don't. I always look for quality with affordability in my videos. And everything is from Forever 21 and Amazon that I'm wearing. We already went over the jewelry. The pants will be linked below. The Forever 21 tank tops are in last week's video. And this new purse will be linked below as well. Here's the bad news. The purse takes a while to come in, perfectly fine with that. Summer's not here yet. I don't need a white purse just yet, although you can wear white any time of the year. Get it uh, home, pull it out of the box. Not the best smell on earth. I was telling a friend about it and I was like, oh my gosh, this purse is so cute. I really love it. So one problem, she's like, what's that? I'm like, well, it has a scent to it. Like, you know, rotting garbage. <laughs> Not like bread and garbage. Now I can tell you this. I've had it for like two weeks. Now it's starting to smell more like textile, like leathery. I have a feeling the smell was something that they treat it with. It feels so soft and supple, like leather, but it's not. It's vegan leather or faux leather. And it has a nice hard bottom to it, so it will keep its shape. It's made very well. If you could hang it outside for a couple of weeks, Order it now if you want to use it by summer. I am able to stick my nose in there and not collapse on my feet. So it does air out eventually. And then you can take it home and enjoy it. So, you know, that's Amazon. I am not the first person to report that something came in stinky. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Crazy as always, but everything will be linked below in the description box. I just love this outfit. And I hope you like it too. If you did like this video, please hit the thumbs up button, share it with your friends, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of my content. You can also hit the bell for notifications. And then when I do upload a video, you'll be notified right away. I hope you're all having a great week and I will talk to you soon. Bye everyone.